made myself a friend here on First News this morning. <laughs> I don't know what this guy's name is, and uh, but whatever it is, it's a friendly horse. Folks, I'm, I've had my lifetime uh, uh, interspersed with horses uh, when I was younger, and then I was in uh, Wyoming on a cattle ranch where I worked radio and cattle uh, ranches too, and also uh, we uh, had all kinds of things that uh, went on. And uh, this horse here is probably uh, is uh, going to be doing a lot of work. We're going to call Dar Darlene Summer in here. It's, uh, Darlene Summers is the owner of a place called the Ironwood Equestrian Center. And Darlene, what is the name of this horse here? Um, his show name is Rumor Has It, but commonly around here we know him as Buster. Is this your horse? No, this belongs to one of my clients, Akira Knowlton, and he's been with us now for about two years. Well, this is a wonderful thing. You, you weren't born and raised here. You just happened to come to Yuma? No, actually, I was raised here in Yuma, but my husband was military, and we were transferred um, to various parts of the country. And we just moved back from Reno about two years ago and opened the Equestrian Center. Okay, this is a wonderful thing. You have uh, students here. Most of them are adults, aren't they? Most of my students right now are adults, yes. I have um, a team, and we call them Team Ironwood, of three really wonderful children who just went to Ride America this last weekend, and I must say they cleaned up, so we're really proud of them. Well, what's your plan of action here at the Equestrian Center? You're doing a lot of things. You're trying to get people acquainted with horses. Are you trying to teach them to jump and all those things, English riding? Yes, they do learn to jump, but we focus on, our, our primary focus is to have fun and have a good time and enjoy your horse safely. Um, with the kids, we focus on the responsibility of owning the animal, and the riding and the jumping tends to be a little more secondary. Um, sportsmanship mm -hmm. um, comes into play. Um, again, my children this weekend, the, the sportsmanship and the attitudes were absolutely wonderful. Uh, my adult amateurs were absolutely wonderful. Uh, they make my job very, very easy and a lot of fun. And, of course, it, I always think about 104, 105, 110 degrees. You still go on. We still go on. Of course, I still kind of tend to think about Reno when I was doing <laughs> lessons myself and what have you in blizzards. So um, it's kind of one or the other, I think. Um, and uh, 104 is fine. It's when it gets to be 110, we have a problem. Now, one of the things people say, well, it must be expensive to have a horse and to board it and all those things. Is it a big expense? It is an incredible expense. It is very expensive to have a horse and to, and to board it and what have you. Um, I tell my parents, though, for the children, if you will look at what the horses will teach your child, the responsibility, um, the life skills, the things that will come into play, it's not uh, an expense at all. Lawyers are much more expensive uh, for kids that get into trouble or into drugs or what have you. And it's my... Um, uh, outlook, uh, outlook that most of the time when kids are involved in horses and involved in the sport, they don't have time for anything else. What's a horse like this cost? Just for example, just a, a ballpark figure. Buster was very expensive. He came from the show circuit in Indio and he probably runs around 10000 but we have others that do just as wonderful a job for a lot less. So if I want to buy just a, a normal horse or here, I can get one for about three or four thousand dollars? Yes, yes, so. without a problem that can do some really wonderful things. Some of our guys over there uh, that you talked to earlier, that was their price range. Okay, and you do rent or not? No, we, we do have a few less than horses, but um, they're very limited. Okay, Darlene Summers, the owner of the Ironwood Equestrian Center, and they're located on 4E, just a little bit south of, of Highway 80, and I'm George Gatley, and that is from my, an equestrian center, first news today.